to thank God. See what he has done this year. See the gift of life that the Lord has granted you. See the battles that the Lord has given you victory over. See the provision and his protection. Come on and begin to thank him. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for grace even to be in salvation, Lord. Thank you for helping us even to worship you, to serve you, Lord. Oh, diligently throughout the year, be exalted, our Father. Be magnified. Even this night we ask that you speak to our lives and open our inner eyes to see. 
that which you've done, that which you're doing, that which you're purposing to do. I pray, Lord, that you use me the way you'll be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say amen. I say say amen. Can we put our hands together and celebrate Jesus Hallelujah. tonight? Hallelujah. Let us give him a shout of praise. Give you glory. Amen. amen. Kindly, you may have your seat. God bless you, Zion Trumpeters, for leading us. Appreciate them. God bless you mightily. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, it is always important to honor others and uh, even to acknowledge the grace that is working in their lives. Psalm 45, I believe that is where we were handling last week. Uh, what triggers favor? What triggers favor? Uh, as much as uh, we want to see great things happening in our lives, we have a role to play. I said we have a role to play. You are here in the house of the Lord because you played a role to come here. <laughs> are we together? You either walked from the working place or from your house or from wherever you came from, you purpose to be here. And uh, there are things that will happen in your life because uh, purposing to do them, deciding to do them, taking the right action of doing them, those things happen. So whenever God speaks, whenever God releases a word, it is upon a man or it is the responsibility of a man to get hold of that word, act upon that word for that word to manifest. Are we together? So, if you can't do anything, if you can't do something, uh, that season comes and that season goes without leaving a mark in your life. Without leaving a mark in your life. So, it is very, very important, very, very crucial that during this uh, season, during this time, that the Lord has declared uh, it is the time of honor, you check around your life. What has been really happening? Have you been uh, that vessel, that individual who has been walking, uh, being honored all? It is the shame, the garment of shame, everything around you has been dictating that kind of disgrace, that kind of dishonor. And uh, if you can't analyze yourself, then you will not go or look for that change. Bonas if you will. You will not trigger it. So, uh, Psalm 45, we rent, uh, I believe, um, last, <laughs> last, last, um, last uh, Tuesday. We will begin verse 10. This is what the word says. No, no, let us begin verse 9. So that at least we will continue. Um, there are many things we understood, but let us begin. Verse 9 says, King's daughter were among the honorable women. King's daughter were among um, the honorable women. At your right hand stands the queen in gold of Ophir. Verse 10, hear, O daughter, consider, submit, and consent my instruction. So on top of many things that we understood, they are the catalyst or the triggers of favor. You must come to a place of becoming a person who can be able, please take me to take me to verse 10 using Amplified. You must be a person who is willing to hear or to listen. Are we together? If you're going to trigger favor in your life and something unusual, something uncommon 
happen in your life, she must be that individual who can listen, who can hear. Many people do not have time to hear. They don't heed to hearing. And that is why even worship has become so casual because we have become speakers. We come and talk and talk and talk and talk. We speak and speak and speak and speak before the Lord. But we don't have time for the Lord to minister to us. You must come to that level whereby when you're interacting with God, you give him time to speak to you. Are we together? And that is the time of meditation. That time of deep thinking, you begin to meditate and when you begin to meditate about the word of God, about the faithfulness of God, this is a time God begins to minister to you. So you must be a person who hears. Are we together? A person who can hear even what you're being told by others. <laughs> Mordecai, I believe we touched that. He had the information of the calamity that was to befall the children of God. And the destinies of Jews were hanging on the shoulders of Mordecai and Esther. And Esther, she was the key person. Are we together? And that is why Mordecai kept on telling her. Even when Mordecai took her to the palace... Among other virgins, Mordecai told her, be careful not to disclose who you are. There are people who have disclosed who they are early and they have become casualties. You have become a victim. Not everything about you is supposed to be known. Even if it, it will be known, let it be known in bits as per the direction of the Holy Spirit. Am I talking to us? There are people who have lost even relationships courtesy of exposing that relationship early to the enemy. You go to your enemy in the name of a fellow sister. You tell her, oh God has remembered me. Brother so and so has proposed to me. That evening that brother is called by that your so called sister. What did I hear you say? You proposed to sister so and so. Be careful because that, that person, she is not born again. She is not an ungod-fearing lady as <coughs> she attest. She was a prostitute before she gave her life to Christ. She don't have uterus. And you wonder, the brother calls you or the following day you meet with the brother. No greetings, no nothing. You, you just want to know what is the problem. He tells you, uh, our relationship just ended. I think I made a mistake. Because you made yourself vulnerable. Tell somebody, be careful. Tell your neighbor, be careful. So, Mordecai is, every time, he was mentoring Esther. So, there are people that God has put in place for us to manifest into a place of honor. There are people that God has put in place so that they can mentor us. They can mentor our lives. They can bring the instructions that we need in every stage of life. They may not... Even be qualified as you are. They may not have attained some levels as you are. But because they carry the grace. Tell your neighbor the grace. Because they carry the grace. That grace makes you. <laughs> Mordecai. He was just a simple man. Sitting at the gate. Esther, she was enjoying even during a time of preparation. For one year, she was enjoying the best in the palace. Mordecai was at the gate. So your mentor can be at the gate and you may be at the palace. But that does not disqualify you from listening to your mentor. 
You may be highly exalted, highly lifted. When it comes to papers, you have papers. When it comes to connections, you are connected. When it comes to everything, even if it is all what makes people to be esteemed, you are eloquent. You have all what it takes to be honored. You may have all those things, but without the protocol of the kingdom, without following the principles of the kingdom, you may be grounded in that level forever. And you may meet God being in that level, asking God why this never happened. And God will show you that simple man, that simple woman who was carrying all what you needed. Esther, she was willing to obey a man sitting at the gate. Ha, am I talking to us? Ruth, she was willing to follow a fellow window like her. She was willing to go and do the gleaning from the field. Bring some food stars to her mother-in-law in the evening because she understood this woman. Though we are all victim of circumstances, there is something that is locked in her. She is the one who is carrying the key of my destiny. Let me tell you, a person who is carrying the key, no matter how simple that person may appear, you have to wait for that person to come and unlock or open the door for you. It doesn't matter who you are. That person may be a simple person, but because he or she is a custodian of the key, you have to wait. I said you have to wait. Am I talking to us? You have to do what? But all equate because we don't understand, because what we don't see. I pray may the Lord open your eyes to see, to understand who is that, who is carrying the wand that you need and listen and obey that word without any question. Are we together? And that is where the church, the believers, have become disadvantaged. Why? They don't understand. They don't understand. That is why Paul said, we may have a thousand instructors, but one father. Am I talking to us? A thousand instructors, but one father. We don't receive inheritance from instructors. We receive inheritance from a father. Am I talking to us? Now, for you to step or to trigger honor in your life, teach yourself to be a person who can listen. Number two, be a person who can consider things. <laughs> How do we consider things? To be considerate is where you come to a place of analyzing the priorities. Praise the Lord. You consider, you analyze things <laughs> between this and this. What is the priority? Are we together? What is the priority? When you are an individual who walks and works according to the priorities and you, you put the, 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 the first things first, not according to how you are feeling, it is according to the will of God. Am I talking to us? Because right now, if this fellowship was not a priority to you, you would be in the market, you would be in your kitchen, right? Some of us, you would be watching, waiting for the news. Some of us, you would be chatting. Some of us, you would be even sleeping. Priority. Priority. So if you can't be that person who considers things and you prioritize things. It doesn't matter what you carry. It doesn't matter what the Lord has spoken over your life. Because it's not the respect of persons. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. First. Seek ye first the kingdom and its righteousness. So, if you can't consider seeking the kingdom first. Seeking the kingdom first is a priority. Tell your neighbor, seeking the kingdom first is the priority. <laughs> and it's righteousness. 
when we are talking of righteousness, it is having a right standing before the presence of God. Am I talking to somebody? Having a right standing before God at all times. At all times. You want to see you worship, you are worshiping. You want to see you fasting, you're fasting. You want to see you opening the window, you're doing it. You want to see you in church, having a right standing before the Lord. Then these other things shall be added unto you. So, for you to trigger honor, you must consider. When Esther received the message, first of all, she was not able to get <laughs> the information clearly. Are we together? When Mordecai sent the, the second word, this is the, the time she was able to consider. And she said, go tell Mordecai to tell Jews to pray together with me for three days. No water, no nothing. Then after that, I will appear before the king. Even if according to the traditions, according to the laws, this is not the season to appear before the king. But I will appear pay him before him. If it is dying, let me die. Are we together? So she was able to consider, should I live alone or should I die for others? Some people are not willing to be disturbed because of the lives of others. As long as you are comfortable, you are eating, you are drinking, you, are <laughs> you have a husband, you have children, you have a place to go and sleep and wake up, you have a small business, you have a job, nothing else disturbs you. Then you don't have, let me use this, you don't have a difference with an even. If that's what you live for, if that's what you live for, if nothing of the kingdom is your main drive. You must have and drive within you. Are we together? And drive within you. Whereby sometimes even when you serve food for yourself, the Holy Spirit can tell you stop eating. Pray. I need an attention for the next 21 days. And you and you and you and slaughtered a, 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 a hen. And the Holy Spirit will tend for you to either deep fright or wait fright or you and he waits. And when you serve and you say, Thank you, Father, for the provision of this meal, he tells you, Stop. You wonder, I stop? Yes. Some will say, Tofia kwa, devil, you are a liar. And you lose and you lose completely. When God tries to put you into <laughs> into analysis. Are we together? Kiwako kwa mizani yake. You appear wanted. May you not fail. I said may you not fail. Praise the Lord. So, when you are a person who considers, you risk your life because of others. You shed tears not because you have problem. It is because of what is happening in the lives of others. Right now, everywhere, if you listen to people, you will not be comfortable at all because everyone is crying. I don't know. Me, I'm receiving messages from north, east, south, and west, from every corner. People are crying. People are crying. If this one is not calling you, I have not eaten for three days. My children have not eaten. Until even when I put food in my plate to eat, sometimes it is becoming very hard to eat. Why? What is happening around the lives of people? It is too much. People are going through a lot. But if you are a lone ranger, you don't care if people are dying or not. Nothing won't disturb you. And until you are possessed by the kingdom of God, favor won't be far from you. And God, my goodness, let me say this because the Holy Spirit is reminding you. I was to start with this. I was to start with this because it, it is something that was whispered to me shortly before I came here. That those who have reached to a point 
to feel like God has been so quiet. He has been so silent. Prepare yourself for his actions. Praise the Lord. Take that to your bank. Are we together? Wale ambao liku umefika. Sijua kama umefika hapo na muuliza surely God are you serious? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Are you serious? And you feel as if nothing is working. Prayers are not working. Commitment you have committed yourself it's as if it's it's not working. Nothing is working. God can purpose to give you an eye to see how far you can go with him whether he is hurting or he is not hurting he can decide to pause over your life but you will begin to see him i said you will begin to see him are we together now if you are that person who considers things you will be very cautious you carry the burden of others. You'll be driven not by your own. You'll not just be an, a person who is ambitious and all your ambitions are towards yourself. You will consider others. Can you, can you take me to that uh, very line? I, I don't care. So something else that we have, we have already said two things. I never wanted us to go up there because... Uh, we got to understand many things concerning even worship and many other things. But today, you must be, as a daughter in the kingdom, you must be a person who is willing to hear or to listen. Number two, you should be considerate. Number three, you should be an individual that submits. Praise the Lord. You shouldn't be submissive. And the first submis submission, as it is recorded, can you take me to the book of Ephesians, chapter number 2, beginning from verse number 22? Uh, the word says, submit, if I'm right, 22, to one another. Are we together? <laughs> if you teach yourself on how to submit to others, then men will submit to you. Hallelujah. Are we together? So it is a command. It is, it is, it is expectant um, 5.22. It is expectant, Ephesians, hallelujah. It is expectant that you submit to one another. There are people who don't go up, go up kindly. There are people who are not ready at all, at all. If they decide to do something. Now. Continue please. To endele. Mm -hmm, to endele. Wow. Submitting one to another in the fear of who? In the fear of God. So, it is your ability to submit. <laughs> Even if someone is younger than you, even if you are the boss and someone is your junior, there are times that we are expected to submit to one another. Bonus if you're son. You do what? You submit to one another in the fear of God. So if you take that lesson and you begin to submit to other people, being driven by the fear of God, you shall be honored. They are very arrogant. You cannot submit to anyone. And watch these people. They don't go far. It is in this generation that you can go even to a matatu and an elderly person can burn that matatu and you are young and you can remain seated. You go to an office and the seats are few. 
you are just sitting there and a minor comes a young person who is expectant you see there are people who see others have gone ahead of them that makes them to be bitter are we together you say I stand for her why well, I've been looking to have mine and this God has not given me I will not stand I tell you the truth you will never arrive there maybe that young lady pregnant was your test for you to pass when you give her a seat and she tells you thank you and God bless you she was the one who was carrying the key of your marriage but what do we do we think our pastors are the one who are carrying the keys some, some keys are not with your pastors that is why God has distributed gift to men that is why he has released his inheritance glorious inheritance to the saints Am I talking to us? <laughs> it is this generation that has not been taught. Yani unaenda kwa mkutano na unaona mtu ana ana struggle kusimama, amesimama na uwezi muondokea. Nasema nilifika hapa nikiwa wa kwanza. There is one man I don't want to mention. He's from a certain country. And uh, in the airport, one servant of God who is late was a father, a, a powerful minister in Africa and, in, and globally. He came with two guests who had to go to another country because <laughs> they, they had missed their flight. So he came, bought on the flight, and he said, I plead with you. This servant of God needs to travel because of MBC Day. Because of the meeting that, that was ahead, ahead, of, uh, ahead of them. You know, <laughs> no one was willing. Because people understand the crisis in, at, at the airport. When you miss the flight, it is a crisis to connect or maybe to book the next. One Muslim, one Muslim who understood this man is the man of God. He lifted up his hand and he said, I will offer my seat. That man of God just declared, the God that I serve will honor you wherever you go. That man up to date, he controls the economy in that nation and he tells the, the Christians, this one, it is Papa so and so blessed me. Nobody can take this blessing from me up to now. Are we together? Whenever God wants to give you something, you must be willing to do something. Are we together? Hey, kina nasema kuna neema. Apo diyo watu wamepotelea. Apo diyo watu wamepotelea. Tunaeleana. Kwa hivyo, you are supposed to submit to one another. Submit. Nyenye kia kwa yule mungine. You see, even in church, there are people who cannot be directed even by an usher. I remember of one case, even in this church. The ushers came and told me, Sister so and so, we will never usher her again, please, even when you are telling us to usher people. Because she is arrogant. She says, this is where I stay. And nobody can just give me instruction. And guess what? That person today, she is a nobody. If you can't submit to your fellow sister, if you can't submit to your fellow Sister in the church, you can't submit to your departmental leader. You cannot submit to your pastor. Are we together? You can't. Na isa sayi mungangano hindi umefanya watu, unakuwa kakatili ambako, akaeshimu, unaenda kila kitu wa ikuwaeshimu. Nobody. 
<laughs> Full of people who every, every time they say, I, 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 I have a spirit of rejection. Full of them. Full of them, many of them. Hey. Wacha wakupatie kasturi kao. Utasikia wengine ni vichwa ngumu. Tunaeleana. If you can't submit to one another, you cannot submit to your husband. You can't. And if you can't submit to your husband, who is in form of Christ, how will you submit to Christ? Acha tuachane na hiyo for now. So submission is another catalyst. It is another trigger of honor. Note it. Tunaleano. Note it. Take me to that very um, Psalm 45. Yo yo mstad. May the Lord help us. I said may the Lord help us. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa hivyo usiwe katili. Ambia mwenzako mungu aturumie. Jo. <laughs> unaeza una njitanganya kwa mba we ni mutifu. Lakini ngoje anga wabiwe. <laughs> <laughs> Ni vizuri hata unauliza watu wale ambao wanaweza kukuambia the truth. Wale ambao you, let me tell us the truth. You should have someone who can summon you and analyze you. If you go far, you must have someone who can summon you either during the day or during the night. A person that you have thought Ukiniona nimepotea hata kama nanjisikia niko sawa summon me and tell me the truth not somebody who is flattering you when you are getting lost a fellow sister ambe unaweza mwambia ukiona hata nimelala ukiona hata vile na BF kanisani ukiona vile nafanya summon me and rebuke me hata yendi mbali kwa pastor tunaleano you see there are people who give their pastor authority Never ever hesitate. Because you can, you can be in church and uh, your pastor can have no power. There is the way you will behave. You will deprive me power to direct you. I will speak the truth. I will talk the truth. But personal things, personal matters. If I give you direction once, twice, thrice, four, you ignore. I tell you the, this way that you are following. Hii njia hii unafuata hii haikupeleki mahala pazuri unaenda unainua mabega yako Mara ya pili na na, na kuita na kuambia vile umeanza you are not moving well I call you you ignore I said you a text hata uonyeshi ya kwamba umeiona That is telling me stay away from me Stay away from me So I'll just, I'll just, I'll just handle you like any other general person. Tuko pamoja. So, if you will go far, look for someone. Bwana asifiwa san. I have people that I submitted to. And I gave them authority over my life. If, I, if you are seeing anything in me that does not glorify God, any time at night or during the day night, day, 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 day time, summon me, tell me. Because you can live in denial. You can live the life of assumption. And you will never see the manifestation of the grace of God because you are out of honor. Honor is not unto the fools. And what does the Bible say? Foolish people do not take instructions. Saying, go and take away foolishness out of me. In Jesus' mighty name. If I'm talking to you, can you shout amen? All right. Another catalyst. So we are saying submission. Another <laughs> instrument or trigger of honor. If you embrace it, you don't go far. It is instruction. If you take instructions, maagizo. Bwana asifiwe sana. If you take instructions with weight, I assure you, 
<laughs> you never meet yourself in crisis of life. You never meet yourself in crisis of want. That is why in TV is saying, the Lord is who? Is my shepherd. And what does the Bible say? The Bible says that the sheep hears the voice of the shepherd. So, he says that he is that sheep. The Lord is the shepherd. And therefore, as a sheep, it is within him to follow the instructions and the counsel of the shepherd. And as a result, David is saying, I shall not be in any want. And where is this leading, adding him to green patches? Are we together? To steal waters. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The rod and his staff. It is giving him comfort. What else, Fesan? Unajua kondo wa kweli akifruto na ile fimbo. Tunaleano. That is why uh, you, you understand. You understand those those big those big <laughs> Rons. Saizi kwanza zimekuwa na fashion mingi sana. Saizi wakati ya ordination. Tunaeleano. Unakuta hiyo kifimbo kikubwa watu ya mungu wanapewa. Hiyo kifimbo kikubwa sindi hiyo kiko. Kiko. Kiko kafti hapa juu. Hiyo hiyo ni nini ya kufruta kondo. Tunaeleano. Ya kufruta nini? Kondo. Kwa hivyo unaeza fruto hata uanguke. Wakati wa kufruto. Kwa sababu uliku unavuka nini? Lakini sasa hizi kondoa ambazo zinafurutwa si zile za kusema <laughs> ile ya kumwambia wewe <laughs> wewe this 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 sheep are talking sheep tell your neighbor i am a talking sheep <laughs> these are the sheep that can confront and hit even their shepherd with their hands May the Lord have mercy on us. Tunaleano. So, instruction is the key thing to your arrival into a place of honor. Bwana sifiwe. Oh Lord Jesus. Can you, can, you, can you take me in the book of Esther? I don't know whether it is chapter number two where she is appearing before, before the king before the king, she never dressed up the way she felt like dressing up. She never did anything in her own style. There was this uh, uh, guy, this eunuch, who was given instruction and uh, he is the, the, the man who was leading uh, this simple girl on how she will dress up, praise the Lord, Hallelujah. She's the one who was making uh -huh, the choices. And before we go there, kindly, we are talking of instructions. Chapter 2, verse 10, this is what the, the, the one says. Esther had not made known her nationality or a kindred for Mordecai and charged her. And charged her. Some version says, uh, and commanded her, praise the Lord. Another version, and, <laughs> and ASB says, Esther did not make known her people or her children uh, for uh, her, uh, and not made, uh, pardon, Esther did not make known her people or her children for Mordecai and instructed her that she should not make them known. Instructions are very important. Instructions are very important. So she kept quiet. She never disclosed who she was. She never disclosed even her nationality or even her kindred because she was told don't attempt. And she kept it in herself. She was also instructed how she will have before the king. Are we together? The word of God has instructed us even on how to appear before God. But how many of us 
How many of us meet those instructions? We sometimes appear before God casually. Our minds are rotten, our hearts are rotten, even physically the way we, we, we look like. And you even, even wonders, who, who is this? And where is she going? Are we together? So, this woman, during a, a day, during a time to appear before the king, she was given instructions how she would dress up. <laughs> I believe she was even trained how she will speak when she is called upon and how she will behave when the king commands her and that is how she was able to gain that favor before the king. So, honor is hanging on your ability to follow instructions. I said honor is hanging, is waiting. Even tonight, honor is waiting for you or for your willingness or for our willingness to follow instructions. Akima ni kuambi ukweli. Eshima itakutoroka kama vile kama vile vitu vizuri zinatoroka mahali pale pabaya. So, I want to tell you even when you don't feel like following, follow instruction. We together. Do what? Follow instructions. Alright. Because of our time, take us back to Psalm 45. That that. Just that very line, it is, it is so rich. Forget also your own people. <laughs> this is not Bible. Tell your neighbor, you are, if you get honor, forget your own people. You see, sometimes we carry our own people. We carry them, we carry them. We, uh, we, we, we put them on like a garment. Hey, to now fun. And that is why sometimes we are full of our people more than full of God. We speak full, we speak more about our people. You see my brothers, my sisters, you see my people, they are poor, they are this, they are, you speak of them more than speaking of God. That is why God has to separate Abraham. He told him, leave, leave. So if honor <laughs> if honor will follow you and you become an exceptional person in your lineage, you must forget your people. Forget to be like them. Forget to talk like them. Forget to manifest like them. Are we together? Forget to be like them in all things. And tell the Lord, I want to be different. I want to come forth a different person. You denounce whatever is happening around their lives. They are married, being the third, fourth, fifth wife. You say, I forget this. That is not my portion. And you stand to pay the price. You refuse their intimidation. Are we together? I'm a daughter of who? Sarah. And you, <laughs> and you begin. I, I, I was, I remember a testimony of one lady. We used to fellowship with, with them in the, in the same church. And uh, still they, we, were, we were in the same school. So me, I was in kindergarten and they were in church. They were, they were grown up girls. You see those days, wa mama ndi walikuanga wako class six. Wana sifuwe san. Wako class five. Wa mama, because every class umerundia marangabi, maratatu. So they were, they were, they were elderly people. But <laughs> I, I used to admire that, that one lady. I used to admire her. And now when I met myself, I am gone to church. I followed one. My parents, of course, they were not born again, so I followed one lady from our village. We went and I met that very 
lady who is whom I saw in our school, she was leading in choir. She was leading songs. Ah. So I loved her even more. When I saw son, I loved her even more. So that I remember as I continued to go to church because I never knew even that if there was a Sunday school. So I just met myself. <laughs> I never knew if there was a Sunday school. So I, I met myself in the in the church among us the 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 men and women and I was just wondering a preacher is preaching and they are just they are just there I would cry a small a small little girl but crying I think not hearing what that person is saying and I remember one 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 <laughs> Elderly woman, I I pick a pick Can you listen? Can you can you Because it's a little child who is who is just crying. Toto wang, can you not hear? Can I shida yot? Can you can I I never I never explained many things to her, and um. So that one day it was announced that there shall be a crusade in a certain marketplace. Ah, I just went. Where is Susan? And it was a long distance. So we walked with this lady. We went there. The, the lady from my village. We went to the crusade. When I went there, I met this, my, my, my best friend. You, you see, you, are, you admire someone from far. I met her. She was preaching. I always remember she was, she was wearing a blue sky dress. Hey, Jesus Christ. She was preaching. So she was preaching. And I said, one day, that's how I vowed. You don't know you are carrying some people. You are carrying some, some destinies. Are we together? I said, one day, when I grow up, I will preach like that girl, that lady. So I just followed her, admired her. Right now, they prepare us. Praise the Lord. She is somebody who is commanding favor in, the, in, our, in our region. Tunaleano. So, our sisters fell into sin. Others in the village, they fell into sin. And every time, even our own mother and father, who are very born again in the church, leaders in the church, she was telling me, they started telling her, you are not normal. How can your sisters have children? And uh, you are not getting married. She told them, I will wait for the man that God will send for me. And she was telling me one day, because they, now they do prepare uh, conferences that I always go to minister. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And when I was giving her the testimony, she, she would shed tears of joy. Kimuambia was just admiring you from far. So she told me, one day she was coming uh, from the river to fetch water, there was a big stone around their, their, their homestead. And that stone knocked her and she fell, carrying that 20 liters of, uh, of water. And she told that stone, you have made me fall during the day of my wedding. You will be removed here. Do you know what? She was married by a tailor, say tailor. And that tailor, years after, let me say, after many years, that tailor turned to be an MCA. That tailor, today, I believe the coming election, you will be contesting for, for, for the MP in our area. That tailor upgraded himself. Tunaleano. Uyu, 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 ndanda alikuwa naitangwa a excellency. Sidi unajua watu wa MCS wa naitangwa pia a excellency. But I tell you the truth. These lenders, there are about three of them. They were singing in the choir. Right now, even when I go to the meetings there, they are driving the best cars. They are living in the best homes. They have their own real estate. But I remember this year when I was there, in the month of March, end of, of, the, of, of the end of March, there was a crisis of water. 2 a.m. in the morning, they are coming to the place where I was from fetching water. 2 a.m. Revival in Aisha, Kitu Sasita Na. 
Na that 2 am niliwasikia wakikula chakula usiku nikaambia na mko na nguvu wanabeba mitungi ya machi wa mama ambao wanaheshimika wengine conference ikiisha saa 4 but those women i salute them so today i am standing in a courtesy of that lady that i was seeing from afar and i vowed one day when i grow up i'll preach like that that woman they were two of them they, there's another woman married by a pastor i i also visited their church she is very beautiful very beautiful and i saw her singing also nikamuona anaib kasema hata watu warembo kama hiyo anaibianga mungu alafu wanapenda mungu namna hii siku ile nitawahi kuwa mkubwa those are the things that i was saying siku ile nitawahi kuwa mkubwa ai nitaimbia mungu na nitahubiri kama hawa and that's how i met myself here it's not that i was brought up from a christian family It is God who used some people who are serious in the church. Let me tell you, you are seriousness in the place of prayer, in the place of worship can give forth an international preacher. You are prayer crying and groaning before the presence of God. Oh my goodness. You may think nothing is happening, but that cry, that groan is touching somebody. <laughs> there's, there's one she's, she's a mother to me I love her so very much and uh, I remember even another day she and wrote to me a message she tells me tell God to give me your heart because mine I tries to break it it has not break before that <laughs> like, I told her God to deal with yours but mine let me just have it because I don't want to become a victim are we together So some things when you are compelled by the Holy Spirit just do them. Never ever behave so very much. You are coming with your protocols in the presence of God. Whenever the Holy Ghost takes his way, just release yourself. I tell you the truth, that action will do some things to those that are in the surrounding. Are we together? Are we together? If the Holy Ghost prompts you to begin to groan, There is someone who has a heart of stone and you are groaning when others are just lifting up their hands and you have broken before the Lord and you are groaning before the Lord. Huyo mtu atakoangalia na atambia Mungu hata mimi nataka kukulilia and from there ata change completely. Lakini kuja umenjikaza. Umenjikaza yako yote. The mission that God wanted to accomplish through you is a potent and they even regret how could she fail when i wanted to act you are kneeling down before the presence of god there is someone who was sit and from that day there is one young man today he is a minister of the gospel my husband went to their place to minister that that small place it was another floor and that young man that time he was not born again so he met himself in church and the the time my husband was welcomed to minister he just knelt down that dust and that young man was in the church he said this man is kneeling down with that suit that i cannot afford even to put, to, to to buy and he's kneeling down and crying before god i will, I will give my life to god and i will become a preacher like him he is a teacher and a preacher we together so whenever you yield to the instructions of the holy spirit hallelujah hallelujah you yield to that instruction eh praise the lord you yield just the way he is leading you you become like a river he takes you in a direction that he feels like you are not you are not you are not you are not complicated you are not slippery then the mission of the kingdom will be achieved through your life praise the lord put on that line we wind up with it because of my time may the lord i believe you are learning something believe you're getting something so forget also your own people forget also your own people see sometimes we we are full of them 
that we cannot even pray for others. Oh, by my God, touch my husband, touch my children, touch my sister, touch my brother. Yeah, 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 shake it. it, it, it. You are just there. You are just there. A time comes when you are not full of them. You allow God to take his place. And your father's house, your father's house is the poison of your house. Hallelujah. Your father's house. We have families that today are not standing because they take. You marry a man who takes instruction. I remember one couple. <laughs> we met with them. Through the, that lady, she's a friend of mine and uh, our sister where she's married. I don't know what is happening now. But the guy would not do anything in his house, in his family, unless the father says so. Are we together? Unless the father says so. He could not buy even a dress for his wife. Unless Baba And this woman, she was tormented. They wanted to build. The man never built his house where he wanted. He built where the father wanted, next to his father's house. So if, <laughs> if you are married to a man who receives instruction, <laughs> they are called mommy's boys. Mommy's who? Boys. You plan to do something, then he tells you, oh, Annie, you know, my mom said. Is that a man? My mother said. And you live the rest of your years by a man who said, my mother said. You will never take any instruction. You will never take anything from you. Whatever you plan together, where, when something proceeds from even your auntie in law, the man will tell you, Auntie said, Shaitanya Shidra. Auntie did what? Auntie said. You plan to go out for a vacation. Then this man must ask Auntie or. <laughs> Oh, your mother. And when they say no, it is no. That is where many people are. That is where many families are. Because they have not come to the place of detaching themselves from their own people. We have aunties, we have some people who have become principalities. They are the ones who determines what will happen in other people's lives. You must come to a place where you detach yourself. That is the time God will be able to work your life out. And that is how honor will be released so that God will be glorified in a unique way through you and in your life and in your family. Are we together? Be on your feet. Our time cannot permit us to move more. So if you can be able to uh, get this clearly and uh, you ask God to help you and uh, to guide you by his spirit and you take these things with a lot of weight, I tell you the truth, uh, your life will be different. And verse 11, while we are studying it, it says, so will the king desire your beauty when you follow this? Bonas when you become a person who hears, a person who considers, if it is kingdom, it is kingdom. If it is church time, it's church time. If it is prayer time, nobody can distract you from that. Are we together? Hallelujah. If it is fellowship time, nobody can call you to go and take you to, to a place to take a cup of tea. They will know your stand. You consider and, uh, oh, my media person is very fast. Then you submit then you submit and you follow instruction. You follow your own people. I mean, you forget them. You forget their influence. You, you, you forget their tradition. Hallelujah. You forget their culture. You forget some of their beliefs. Hey. They believe anybody <laughs> before is 
before a lady is married, there must be some five crates or ten crates of beer. It is, it is something that is supposed to be done there. You refuse. Hallelujah. And you are not exchanging it with money. You tell them. Kama kwetu, lazima, lazima, two things before a relationship is commanded by elders. Two things must be done. Especially when a man proposes to you and you agree. Two things. The first thing. It is a, a bunch of mirror is brought. That is something to come and ask for permission. Mirror. And those, those elders, they will chew these mirrors. They will chew, they will chew, spitting their salivas. And that is the saliva that they are blessing you with. I said no. Imagine. Eti mira inaleto, iyo ndiyo muze atakuja amebeba na aspia to come. Iyo aspia iki, iki, iki dungiliwa kwa mboma enu. Ya kwamba sasa umekubali. Iyo ingine ni asali. Lazima, lazima mtungi asali kiyo imeja ileto. Na iyo ni awaze. Wanapika na yo pombe. Alafu ndiyo wanakubarigi. Nilisema hakuna. Na hakuna pesa ina exchange. Sasa kama kuna mutu anja wito leo hizo vitu. And they are waiting for me maybe to not to make it in life. Ni mimi. Because I made my stand clear. I told them those things no. The third thing. Because in our place you must go through initiations. Are we together? Unapitishwa kwa stenje zarika. Kuna rika ya andol, ya teens, kuna rika ya vinjana, kuna rika ya ukiwa mstana hamekoma, hizo rika zote. Na uvunje hiyo rika. Akuambia wanarika ndi wanakuja kukundiscipline. That's how serious it was during our time. Na hizo rika zote, hizo stenjezi unapitizio, zote ni za kishetani. Are we together? But, and especially now, during the day of wedding, you mustn't give a token to all those groups. Engine groups, is zote. You must give a token. And I said, no. So they were waiting for me to become a useless person and a person who, who has broken the traditions and the culture. So they were waiting for me even to die. Because I never honored they are rituals. So you must have a stand. And there is a price to pay. And when you, you, you forget them. And you don't follow them. Then the king. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then the king. Say then the king. <laughs> ah, Come on. Say then the king. <laughs> so will the king desire your beauty. Praise the Lord. Because he is your Lord. Be submissive and reference and honor him. So God will be happy with you. And I pray may you make God happy. Lift up your hands and tell the Lord, help me Lord, help me to hear you, help me to be submissive to you, to be submissive to others, help me to be a person who can consider, who can, who can follow instructions, a, a person Lord, a, a person oh my father, who can hear, who can consider and submit uh, and consent, uh, uh, obey the instructions. Uh, Pakatazoka, when you do these things, uh, honor shall be your, your, your portion. Honor shall follow you. Honor shall knock at the doors of your destiny. Honor shall accompany you. Honor shall come your way. Some of us, uh, you need to get tired uh, of, 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 of the life of shame uh, that you have been through. You must come to a point and say, Ah, I am ready. I am ready to, uh, to pay the price. 
Christ. Uh, these are the things, simple things uh, that God is expecting us to do so that we can manifest in honor. Whenever we worship him, uh, whenever we release ourselves, uh, whenever we are ready to do his will, we shall be honored. Uh, can you pray in the spirit? Uh, can you pray in the spirit? Uh, can you pray in the Holy Ghost? Uh, assume desire to work, uh, uh, to trigger, to trigger, to trigger honor through the instructions that we are received. Uh through the package uh, of the things, uh, of the few things that we have received tonight. Makoti la bahana babo zata bahana repakata la bashamtaya rapakaria bashela. We are tired of reproach. We are tired of shame. We are tired of disgrace. And tonight uh, we purpose to follow you, Lord. We purpose to hear from you. Le pekato la bihane. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, help us and lead us and guide us. Repeka talaba handalaba, rapaka talaba sheka, riapaka talaba rabozanda, repeka tariaba, ribiande rebarabozata, repeka talaba rabosheda, repaka tazata. May honor, may honor follow each one of us, O God. May honor become the portion of this your children. Liparia Pacata, Rapa Candala Barabosana, Repe Candala Bozeca, be exalted, Lord. Be magnified in the name of Jesus. Can you lift up your hands now before the Lord? Something in your life that you're seeing, it is not bringing honor. It is not glorifying God in your life. Can you point it out tonight? Can you point it out tonight? And pray a prayer and tell the Lord if there's thing on God, that something that has become a thorn in your life to touch and torment you, to make you to feel inferior, to make you to feel ah disqualified for everything. Can you point it tonight? La pakata la barabashanda, re pakata zota. Jabez Bible records he was an honorable man among his brothers. He was the most honorable, but all what he was displaying is pain. Ah, you might be the honorable person in your life. I mean in your family, even in that company, you may be the most honorable person, but pain is surrounding your life. Shame has become the honor of day. Can you pray like Jabez? If only God you would bless me and take away pain from my life and expand my boundaries. If only you, you would lift this pain out of my life. Rapa can't Father, all the reproach of Egypt out of the ch of your children, even the shame of their youth, come down to your word. Take it out of our lives. Take it out of our lives. Shame that has covered our families. Shame that Lord Almighty has come as a result of what what we control tonight we ask uh, let that shame live our lives Rapakatalabazota uh, the shame uh, that has come uh, into our lives because of our social life uh, because of physically how we look like uh, because of health uh, because of financial uh, situations uh, let shame uh, let shame uh, from today disappear from our lives rapper can't we worship you lift up your hands before the lord father i pray for every one of us i pray that this night won't be the last night for some people to go through what they have been, been, um, been going through lord what has been tormenting them what has become a thorn in their flesh I ask for your grace to be multiplied. That from today, Lord, things will shape up. That from today, there shall be garment of praises. That from today, Lord, 
laughter shall be heard in their camps in Jesus' name. That from today, even financially, those who have God Almighty and disgrace them because of their financial condition, let things change. Let things turn around. Those that, Lord, have gone through some situations even because of their health, I am declare a turn around even in their health. Your arm tells us as our soul prospers, we also prosper in wealth and health. Therefore, I declare that we shall not only prosper in our souls and manifest poverty and manifest sicknesses and diseases. Oh, we, we, we pray that your word shall become a reality in our lives. Thank you, Father, for you will not keep quiet again. You are about to answer our critics. You are about to answer the critics of our life, the critics of our family, the critics, God, of our marriage, the critics of this ministry. You are answering them by your actions because, Lord, your kingdom is not of mere ones but of power. Let your power be manifested, be exalted, and be magnified. In Jesus' name we pray and we believe. Somebody say amen. Can we put our hands together and celebrate Praise the Lord tonight. Celebrate him in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you so very much. Our online church, maybe you are there. You're not born again. Um, sin is a disgrace. If you're not born again, um, there's no way you can enjoy that which is proceeding from God every time. And I would wish to lead you to Christ even as you come uh, across this message, maybe you're not watching, but uh, you come across it. I want to lead your life to Christ. I want you to give your life to Christ. That is where the beginning of everything starts. That's where life begins. I hear people say life begins at 40, but it is not written anywhere in the Bible. But I believe your life begins uh, whenever you have a good relationship with, with, with the Lord. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me, I'm a sinner. Today, I receive you to be my Lord and Savior. Sanctify me with your precious blood. Thank you for forgiving me. Write my name in the book of life. Help me, Lord, to live for you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you are forgiven. Look for a Bible teaching church. Go commit yourself Introduce yourself to the pastor, the man of God in that place, and tell your friends that you have decided to give your life to Jesus. Amen. From the King's House, we are meeting here in the morning to pray from 4 to 6. So you can join us uh, if you are far from uh, where you will be, and God will bless you. Tomorrow we have a uh, grace hour and miracle service. You can purpose to join us then. God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Amen. Let us uh, leave them uh, with a, a clap of in Jesus' name. Amen. The rest of us who are